In March, U.S. Vice President Mike Pence met with Hong Kong's former Chief Secretary Anson Chen. A few days later, U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi met with opposition lawmakers Dennis Kwok and Charles Mark. The opposition leader's trip to the U.S. also included meetings with congressional committees and bar associations. In May, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo met with several opposition figures, including Martin Lee, Lee Tra Kim, and Nathan Law. In June, U.S. Congressman Marco Rubio and Jim McGovern reintroduced the so-called Hong Kong Human Rights and Democracy Act. Nancy Pelosi called the demonstrations in Hong Kong a beautiful sight to behold. In July, Mike Pence and Mike Pompeo held meetings with pro-opposition media tycoon Jamie Lai, discussing Hong Kong's amendments to fugitive bill. And in the midst of the unrest, Julia Ada, who works at the U.S. Consulate General in Hong Kong, was filmed meeting with opposition figures Martin Lee and Anson Chen. She also met the Hong Kong protest leader Joshua Wang. In September, U.S. Congressional Executive Commission on China held Hong Kong-related hearing and invited Joshua Wang and the protest leader Denise Ho to testify. In October, U.S. Senator Ted Cruz met with Anson Chen and Jimmy Lai in Hong Kong and were black to show support for protesters. On October 15th, U.S. House of Representatives passed the so-called Hong Kong Human Rights and Democracy Act of 2019, which was later passed by the Senate. There have also been reports of U.S. financial support for protesters. One of the most notable sources was a private foundation. National Endowment for Democracy. According to the foundation's website, it has granted millions of dollars to the Solidarity Center and other organizations in Hong Kong. Wang Sun, CGTN.